So the last step I want to do is create a parallel compressed channel. So I'm going to use this send feature in Studio One. I could also do this in Superior Drummer 2 as well, but I'm going to do this in Studio One in my DAW so that I can use Easy Mix on my parallel compressed channel. So what we need to do is create a send for each of these channels, which is basically going to create a copy. We're going to send that to an additional aux channel, and then we'll add an over-the-top compressed Easy Mix 2 effect, and then we will just bring that into the mix below the volume of the drum bus to enhance our drum mix. So I've created a bus channel. I'll go Go ahead and label it pair comp parallel compression and i'm just going to add each one of these do a send to the parallel comp channel now if i solo the parallel comp channel i should hear a mix of my drums because i'm sending each of these channels to this pair comp channel it's a copy so it's in addition to our drum bus If I also solo the drum bus, you're going to hear a much louder drum mix because we're getting our normal channels plus a copy of them. So obviously that's going to be way too loud, but the point is to bring in the paracomp channel to taste. So right now, let's go ahead and keep the paracomp channel at 0 dB so we can hear what's going on. Let's bring in Easy Mix and let's find a preset that we can use to get an over-the-top compressed effect. So for this, I'm going to use the Neil Dorfman library. We'll go into drums and he has this really nice parallel drum bus preset. Okay, now it's pretty aggressive, so we'll dial it back a little bit, but let's just take a listen to the default settings here. I have my parallel comp channel soloed. So you can see very over the top. I'm going to bring back the tape drive, but I'm actually going to turn up the compression. Let's see what that does to the sound of our paracomp bus. So we have some exaggerated compression going on. That's exactly what I want for a parallel compression channel. So now we have to bring that in with our main drum bus. So I'm going to solo both of these. And I'm going to turn the pair comp all the way down. So when we start off, you're just going to hear our normal drums. And I'm going to slowly bring up the pair comp channel until we find a place where that really compressed sound from the pair comp channel fits nicely with the main uncompressed or just our processed drum bus. A little bit goes a long way, but I'm going to exaggerate it just a little bit so you can hear the effect it has on our drum bus, and then I'll bring it back down a little bit. So I'll bring it back down right about here and then we'll take a listen. So the effect will be a little more subtle and you don't wanna do too much. I mean, a little goes a long ways. You're just wanting to enhance your main drum sound with this parallel compressed channel. And that's it for our drum mix. So we switched everything over to Superior Drummer 2, did multi-channel output. We, of course, created a drum bus with our drum bus effect. We added various effects to each channel. Then we created a parallel comp channel and just brought in a little bit of that over-compressed signal to our main drum bus.
So in the next video, we're going to do a few more adjustments and prep our mix for the vocal track. So I want to get this song as close to finished as I can before I send it over to the vocalist, to Spencer Hansen, so that he has everything he needs to create a vocal track. And then we'll bring him in, he'll talk about what he's created and some of his workflow and favorite easy mix effects for vocals.